Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video. In this video, we are going to be giving you a Cardano update. I think there are some interesting things to be spoken about on the charts. Lots of people um, looking at the weekly chart right now and saying that we could be in for a further sell-off. We're going to look at some resistance that we are facing with Cardano. We're going to take a look at the overall market and where we're at and where we are likely to go, guys. And the first thing that I want to do to kick this video off is just to tell you that you have nothing to worry about in my opinion. Of course, do your own research. Don't just take my word for it. But in this video, I'm going to be sort of presenting to you why I think that is. So without further ado, guys, let's jump straight into this video. Cardano is currently sat at $1.30, up around about 1% on the 24 hour and down around about 8% on the 7 day. And currently has a market cap of $35.5 billion. So in my opinion, that's still relatively small. And I think there is absolutely room for exponential growth in terms of market cap. I think the entire market is going to grow. We're only at $1.8 trillion in terms of our overall volume of money in the crypto space. I think that has a long way to go. We still have a, lot, a large number of institutions to get on board. There's no regulations in certain countries like the US, which once we do have regulations, even though they might be a bad thing, there's also a yin and yang to everything in life. There's lots of things to come for the crypto space, lots of re sort of confirming news that this is the new thing. Blockchain technology is, is going to be implemented in everything. So you have every reason, in my opinion, to be bullish on the overall space. And a coin like Cardano with absolutely fantastic fundamentals, real use cases, um, a solid team, great technicals, the list goes on and on and on, is going to appreciate uh, significantly as a result of that. We've said anywhere by the end of the year, five to $10 per ADA. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to take you over to the Cardano chart and really show you what we are seeing on it. Now, we are, of course, selling off the market. Uh, I know Bitcoin sold off by around about 22%. We're going to jump into Bitcoin in a second. And I'm going to show you why this is normal. Um, hopefully, you know, put some of your minds at ease. But essentially, we're seeing a sell off throughout the entire market. Uh, and one thing that I want to point out, guys, and let's start on the biggest time frame that we're going to look at today is the weekly. Lots of people are looking at this 20 EMA. And essentially what they're saying is we, you know, traditionally, if you look, every time we've kind of ran away from the, the, the EMA on the uh, weekly time frame, there has, it's been followed by a revisit. So every time we've kind of overextended and escaped the EMA, we have always come back essentially to, to, to kind of uh, test it. I mean, that's been true on pretty much every occasion. So based on probabilities, you can kind of uh, assume um, that you're going to see a similar thing playing out today. Now, what I want to do, guys, is uh, the, 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 the 20 EMA is currently sat at 86 cents. Lots of people, when I say we're going to test it, that doesn't mean we're just going to do something like this and come straight down. Absolutely not. What I think is more of a likelihood to happen is this EMA is going to continue to move up and we will meet it somewhere in, um, you know, we're going to do something like this, in my opinion, before continuation, before the EMA kind of changes and does something like that. I think that's quite a high likelihood. I think we will retest this EMA. We will visit the EMA again, but it's not going to be, you know, we're not just going to sell off and roll all the way down to it. I think that's still like a 20 something percent from where we are now um, sell off. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Cardano, and there's a number of indicators that suggest we are going to continue to sell off. If we drop it down to, uh, what is it? I'm after the four hourly chart. You can see how the EMA is essentially acting as resistance. We can take a look at prior um, sort of price movement and seeing that, you know, until we get a significant kind of breakout to the upside, which I think is coming uh, for, you know, you can see how back here you kind of bump your head on it and it's followed really by a significant breakout. The reason you are more likely to have a significant breakout to the upside through this EMA, we're noticing a, a number of W patterns that have essentially um, failed. We could be setting up for another one now. Um, however, uh, we're yet to see how this is going to play out. You could see something like that. We could fail again. Or the alternative is, you know, we could break out of it. There's there's a number of ways that this could go. But ultimately, how do you do have a number of indicators. Uh, Bitcoin and the overall crypto market seems to be sort of lolling about. We have, uh, you know, we're showing some kind of a recovery today. You know, we're fighting. But ultimately, you know, there are a number of indicators that are kind of suggesting that Cardano is indeed going to continue to sell off. And that, you know, one of the main ones is if you look at the EMA on the weekly, we're, we're, we're kind of pretty far from it. And usually this is um, 
sort of what usually happens is we do end up sort of rejoining this EMA at some point. I don't think it's going to be in this sort of range. I think it's going to be in the sort of 90s range if we get that low. We could wick, we could come back down to our wick around about 90, but ultimately I think this is going to be short-lived and essentially what I want to do is take us to the daily and we've pointed this out on a number of uh, occasions. If we get rid of the EMA uh, for the sake of the daily chart, you can see that you have um, similar structure forming that formed here that's forming today. And we all know that was essentially met with like a 3X in terms of price. I think a similar thing is going to play out. I think once we've kind of broken those resistance levels and we start to move the overall market starts to pick up, Cardano is going to do very well, guys. And the last thing that I kind of want to touch on uh, before I wrap things up, um, and what this video is about, guys, it, it, it's really trying to show you where we're at. For, for the new guys to this market, you know, especially people that have bought at our uh, all-time high now at sort of $1.47, you know they are they've they've lost money essentially they've not lost money but to most people you know when they see their portfolio go down they think they've lost money um you don't lose or make anything until you've sold so you haven't technically lost anything the value of what you've bought's gone down but that doesn't you know you've not cashed out of that position even if you're an investor so you haven't actually lost anything and hodling i recommend this for everybody i do take some short term trades um however i've been here for 4 years i think well, I like to think I know what I'm doing uh, relatively. I don't take a lot of trades. I'm an I'm a investor, uh, you know, a macro investor at that. I'm not really a short-term investor. And um, I don't think if you're new to this market, you should be getting in and trading. You certainly shouldn't be looking to touch leverage because that's how you lose your money. The best strategy for a lot of people out there, and like I say, this is not advice. This is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, is to buy and huddle. That will serve you significantly better. And you'll actually find you will, in a lot of cases, outperform traders. Um, and it's easier. There's a long list of reasons why you should do it. Hodling is usually the best case, guys. And I think you have nothing to worry about with Cardano. We still have so much to come for Cardano. There's so much good news on a daily basis. There's so much good news for the entire space, guys. Ultimately, the entire world is moving towards blockchain and the cryptocurrency market is going to appreciate significantly as a result of that. I think we could top out anywhere from eight to $11 trillion by the end of the year in terms of overall market cap. What do you think a coin like Cardano is going to do um, given those kind of that kind of a, a forecast? I think it's going to react very, very well. So now let's take a look at Bitcoin. And one thing that I want to do before we wrap this video up is kind of confirm to people that we are still in a bull market. Nothing has changed. Yes, this sell-off uh, looks somewhat severe. But if we kind of look at it in comparison with other sell-offs that we've had back in 2017, um, you can see that it, it sell-offs are part and parcel. So if we look at this, this is around about 21% sell-off for Bitcoin that we've seen currently. Um, we have already seen significant sell sell offs, you know, in this kind of uh, bull run. This sell off was around about twenty five percent, and if you look at what we did after that, you know, we just kind of impulsed to the upside, guys. Um, and I think the same thing is going to be true for this sell off. However, because of the I think because this is more of a, uh, or looks certainly like more of a severe sell-off, I think you are going to see some real price movement to the upside. You've got to remember, guys, institutions are loading up on crypto right now. Certainly uh, Bitcoin, and now they're sort of taking a look at Ethereum. It's not going to be long before they look at altcoins. You know, Grayscale does it. Grayscale have loads of trusts out there. Um, you know, all companies are now going to look to crypto as a uh, something to put on their balance sheet and certainly the investment arms of companies and the kind of hedge funds and that are now and we've got confirmation of that looking as crypto as an alternative asset class so last thing i want to do before i wrap things up guys um i hope this is making sense to some of you i just you know i know a lot of people really like ada out there that's why i'm kind of consistently bringing these updates out because i don't i don't i don't feel like there's reasons to to, to worry unnecessarily let's just take a look and all these green squares what we're highlighting is pullbacks that took place in 2017 let's just take a look at kind of may uh, we saw a pullback in june let's take a look at uh the kind of percentages that that took from us so that was around, around about 34% sell-off in June of 2017. We all know how 2017 played off. It played out. It was a fantastic bear market. What I'm doing here is taking the lows to the highs. That was around about 33% from September uh, to September. Uh, let's take a look at some others just to kind of give you uh, a, a real kind of view of what's going on here. Let's take a look at the one that happened in March in 2017. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap this video up. So if we go from the low to the high... You can see that that's around about 26% pull off. 
uh, sell-off. So what I'm trying to hopefully show you here, guys, is that you know sell-offs are part and parcel of a bull market. Ultimately, everything's still following Bitcoin. That's why I'm kind of giving you the analogy of Bitcoin in 2017. ADA really only came about in 2017. It kind of it wasn't the best birth that ADA could have had. You know, the best start to its life. We were in that kind of mania phase, and you know. This year, there's a lot of differences. And like I say, I think you're seeing similar structure here that you're seeing play out nowadays. I think there is a long list of reasons to be bullish on Cardano. And if you are new to this space and you're an investor, you have nothing to worry about. If you're a trader, then of course, you know you, you, know, you should know what the risks are and you should, should um, act accordingly. But if you're an investor and you're here for you know a couple of months or whatever, or however long you plan on being here, if it's for a longer period of time, the best, adv uh, not advice, but the, the best thing that I could probably say is stop checking your portfolio every three seconds. There'll be plenty of people out there, and I'm talking directly to you right now, that are checking their portfolio every single, you know, probably 18 times an hour or whatever. Stop doing that. Go and enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your Sunday. Chill out. Understand what you're investing in. You have nothing to worry about. Go and, you know, enjoy yourself and check it on, on, on a less of a regular basis. If you're going to do that, do make sure you set alerts for when prices, you know, if prices perhaps dipped, make sure you have alert set for that so you can kind of keep tabs on it by, via that. Ultimately, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, in my opinion, you know, I think this, you know, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, know my opinion on blockchain. I'm a, I'm a bull um, on blockchain, full stop. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a blockchain maximalist. That is all I have for you in this video, guys. Um, I'm going to love and leave you. If you've enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated. Get subscribed to one of the fastest and rarest growing YouTube channels out there. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you on the next video. So get subscribed, guys, because we're bringing out regular content uh, that's honest on a, re on a daily basis. That's all I have for you guys. I'm going to love and leave you. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next YouTube video.